Hello everybody, welcome back. This is round three, and we're going to be on the play. Uh, really a mediocre hand, uh, but we're going to count on our opponent allowing this to resolve, which once that resolves, the hand changes entirely. Um, definitely me being a Timmy. Uh, the question becomes, do we get the basic forest? And I think the answer to that right now is yes. Because we can play the... Uh, this that land and get that down there um worst case scenario our opponent decides to bolt the bird in which case our hand goes to crap and i should have gotten the bayou but we're in luck our opponent is playing canadian thresh and we have three wastelands um that being said i think that we just go ahead and wasteland that and then play the sylvan library so, yeah, if you've got a force of will, there it goes. Nope, no force of will. All right, so we got two more of his lands to kill. We still have to kill this. <laughs> this is kind of funny to me because this deck plays no basics. You could you could find some, like, archaic lists that have, like, one or two basics in them. But almost everybody that plays this deck, oh, my God, it may be the blue-red burn deck. It's the blue-red burn deck. We're screwed. His hand is terrible against them. Um... At least we got a basic. That's that's all I got. There's a goif. Goif is good. Um, what can the goif do for us though? He'll be a one-two, which means that he still dies to bolt. Yes, always. Ah, oh, there's a pulse. Pulse will give goif the staying capability. We could pulse that baby. Um, and then we actually get the ability to edict. That doesn't seem that bad. So he can't daze. Let's just put that back in such fashion. Uh, let's see here. We're going to play this one. That way we can do it. Let's go that. Well, we could do it either way because of the bird. But we're doing it this way simply because... Oh, man. I, I had the, the online meme going that was just F you. That's why. But I'm not that guy. So, he gets his blue land, uh, we get a Goyf that can now block this. If he swings with it, we get two cards, basically. Yay! And we still need to start gaining life. Um, still planning on playing this and making him discard. Hopefully he goes and gets another, uh, whatchamacallit, one of these, and then we can just play this, edict him, and then start saying no to his hand. And that would be awesome. Um, that being said... We shall discover. Let's see. So he's cracking. Got a blue. Okay. What are you doing? Ponder. Okay. Ponder, not as bad. Uh, we're not in the greatest of positions. We don't have any way to gain life. Our hand was really slow to start off with. Luckily, we curved um, and have been continuing to curve. Unfortunately, our opponent has one of each and their basics was really hoping for Canadian Thresh. You know, it, it would have been comical to watch this happen. I would have lost. I guarantee you I would have lost. But it still would have been comical. Alright. So across comes him. We draw that. We have a Goyf on top of our deck. Uh, guess the question really becomes at this point, which one do we want to do? Chain Lightning. Okay. Yeah, we can't send that back. I think what I actually want to do, maybe play this Liliana and put the Wasteland down. That way he can't pop us. And if that's the case, I want this one. So we'll pop that down there. We'll do this. So this will pay for days. We'll stop taking damage from that. Edict him. He can't pop us. And we can start making discarding happen. Uh, we can still put the goif out there. I think I'm going to actually go for shaman. There's two creatures in the yard. That's annoying. Um, but not the end of the world. Redirect the Liliana. Redirect the Liliana. Redirect it. Oh, you suck. So, bird stays untapped. 
He'll be down to two cards. I'm going to keep... Hmm. I think we'll find something else. So I'm not too worried. Let's just both discard a card. So he got rid of a brainstorm. Here comes Shaman. And I think I will actually play this. I think we're in a good position to just be able to play that. Um, reasoning being, if he flips, which most likely he will, we can still just decay that in case he decides to do something to kill the bird. So yeah, that's going to flip. Uh, if he plays a spell that doesn't kill Liliana, we put him at zero cards in hand. We can start gaining life back. This is now a problem. Um, and if he tries to play a land pop us, we at least can kill this before we wasteland. And end up with three mana there. Probably these three. Just FYI. And then we start gaining life back immediately. And there will be four creatures in the yard. That's eight life, so 16 over the course of turn. Um... He's low on mana, so that, that Wasteland did actually help out. The other one is keeping Price of Progress from being just like the ultimate kill you spell. I, re I'm, I really want to swear, and that's not good. I'm not, I'm not Sailor. So, yeah. There's a Lightning Bolt. Gotta bolt the bird or the shaman. So he's got Bolt in hand. If he plays the Bolt, he goes to two cards in hand. We knock him down to one with Liliana. Um, to none with Liliana. Interesting. So, let's see. I'm assuming that's coming in. We're still going to kill it. we still got a library. Remember to, to click off so that we don't actually take four life per card. So he's swinging at Liliana. We're just going to pull one of these ones. So now the bolt has to go towards Liliana most likely. Otherwise he's got to bolt the shaman. Yeah. Which I don't mind that at all. Um, Sophie. We do not have enough mana to support Sophie. I'm going to go get the other shaman. So... Bang, bang. There's the other Shaman. We go for discard. And it was a Spell Pierce. Okay. So... We're in a position where we have something that will gain us back life. There's three creatures in the yard, or four? There's a Shaman over here, a Delver, two Delvers, a Goblin Guide, four creatures. Okay, so this has to be almost a priority. Um, I would have liked to have been able to hook up Sword of Fire and Ice to one, but unfortunately that's not going to be a possibility. I'd rather get my life total high enough where I don't have to worry about being popped or some other random thing happening. Uh, looks like he's taking that, so... Maybe we get lucky. Thoughtseize, that's going back. And Batterskull. Batterskull can stay. Uh, trying to think of a way for him to deal that much damage, and I don't think that there is, so... Let's just... There we go. And we're doing it this way, again, to avoid Price of Progress. There's no ex there's no flyer. He's got no card in hand. Okay, the game ended. Um, provided that pop-up comes. There we go. So we would have got to discard with Liliana. We start gaining life back at incredible rates. Unfortunately, he did get a chance to see the Batter Skull. So, that's a thing. Let's go ahead and take you, take you, take you. Um... Not so much worried about these right now. Elspeth, not going to be great. You're not going to be great. Fire and Ice is fine. Liliana is fine. This Pulse I'm going to pull out just because I don't think it's going to be fast enough. Uh, the Thoughtseize is 
take those. Looks like we got a, some stuff over there. I'm going to keep one Thoughtseize. Uh, this should, in theory, keep us alive, but you know how good theory can be sometimes. Liliana, I'm keeping. She's terrible against Burn. In this matchup, she's not the worst. Uh, she kills off creatures, whereas in Burn, there's like four or five creatures. Maybe they'll have... Of their deck, you'll of this whole 75, you'll find like 12 creatures. And they're not even important. Um, in this case, I would have rather had the Jit than the... Uh, the sword, but that is how it goes. Let's go ahead and resort this. Anything that we're looking for, Flame Blast could be a thing, uh, Blood Moon could be a thing, but if my opponent noticed, I'm definitely being a basics whore, so yeah. We can expect no life gains, or the life gain stuff to, wow, this hand is, ugh. I do not like this hand. The reason I don't is because it's non-basic, non-basic, non-basic. I am going to keep this hand because it does curve very well into situations that my opponent won't like. Um, yeah. Delver? Delver. And my opponent got a basic this time. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop this one, get this down. Hopefully it terrifies my opponent. <sighs> Not thrilled about having this be my situation, by the way. So, Delver didn't flip. Delver can't swing. Now Delver can swing. Yep, I figured that that would happen. Delver gets in for one. Uh, we can play... Whatchamacallit this turn. Uh, that card, you know... You're in hand. Um, again, not exactly where I want to be with this situation. Our opponent could just easily untap and go Blood Moon, so I'm going to do this. Hoping for no Spell Snare. Brainstorm. And it is very likely that my opponent has some form of Artifact or Enchantment. Well, Artifact Destruction. Probably in the form of like smash to smithereen, so it'll count as a bolt as well. Yes, we want to do that. But we're still getting the batter skull. If we can get that online, then we're in very good shape. Next turn, I think I'm going to go for the arbor into... Dang it. I was hoping. Arbor into Thalia. Or maybe, no, I think that we'll preserve life. We'll go Arbor into Swords. That's very nice to see. Uh, we can do Swords into Thalia. Let's just... Oh, wrong one first. Swords into Thalia. I don't think my opponent has a daze. It does mean that we can't actually play her yet, but we can play this. Uh, go get uh, Finks provided we draw another land. Lavamancer. Give me a land, please. A land would be awesome. Him. Um, yeah, we're going to go with the him. There's only one spell that actually does anything. Double Lava Mancer. So, if she dies, we get to play her, force a sack, and go from there. Unless we draw land, in which case we get to Batter Skull. That's unfortunate. Goblin Guide. Right idea, wrong land. Uh, so let's see, what does that do then? Not a lot. Yeah, I was going to say, he's got to recognize that doing that would be wrong. 
So we get this one. Should have done this first. And we go get... Because if this is a spell pierce, all he needs is any burn spell. But it is not. We'll go do that. Um... Hmm. Now comes the hard part. How do we do this? What did you get? Chain lightning. Okay. So now, not swinging in. Alright. I could take care of that land in hand. Or I can play Liliana. If I play Liliana and I edict him, he gets to kill Thalia and the other thing that I do. So I think in this case is going to be one of the few times I'm actually going to leave Lily up and just do that. I'll get in with her. Might as well get the damage while I can. Again, killing her means that I'm one land away from Batterskull as opposed to two. Probably should have just edicted him anyway. Edicted? Or is it just edict? Grammar! Dictation! Which way? Um, if he swings, I am going to block. That's kind of a ominous swing there. Ooh. That's pretty good. Uh, we are going to block just to preserve life total. We are going to block because if he kills Thalia, then he's got to deal with Batterskull. And if he doesn't play a creature, then he's got to deal with Liliana and edicting him. And then Batterskull. So you can have your two cards in your graveyard. I'm going to edict you next turn if you don't play a creature. If you do play a creature, I, I still will edict you. Because you've got to kill her. I don't like having this many non-basics out. Snapcaster goes for Chain Lightning. But his hand is spent. You use the Chain Lightning. Question is, okay, so he goes at me with that. Okay. Um, That's just as good. Let's, let's do this. Yep, let's go do that. And we can't play Liliana or anything like that. I'm going to hold back. The reason I'm holding back this time as opposed to the last time. I need a little bit more protection. Like, this will stop him from being able to swing in. He's now got two things that he can't kill. He can't kill this, because if he does, I can cast it. He can't kill, or he has to kill this. So, and there it goes. That goes to the kill for that. But that's his graveyard being abused on his side. Um, we still get to play the sword, which he then has to kill this. Yep. But any land that we draw now puts this active still. And that does count as a land. Like it's something else that he has to kill right now. And then we can also pop this down. It is us tapping out that's 8 damage, so if he gets Price of Progress, we could be in trouble. But, for right now, we are safe. His deck doesn't have very many lands, by the way. And most of them are... 1, 2, 3 of them are here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's close to half the lands in his deck. Most of them... Okay, so he missed there. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back in. Oh, wait, I thought that was game two. It was game two. It was just the end of, of it. So, yeah, that was that was the match. That that happened. Uh, I still think that that deck is just a crappier version of Burn, but that's just me. Um, at least for my deck, that seems to be how it, how it operates. I am going to continue on, and we'll see where things go. I will see you all for the last round here in a moment. Bye-bye.